Hi, my name is Ryan Szymanski, curator for the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We're in one of hundreds of unrestored spaces on the battleship. This one is filled with dehumidification gear and other stuff left over from when the ship was mothballed. We have more spaces open to tour than any other battleship. We still have a lot of spaces left to go. From the earliest days of capital ships in the U.S. Navy, the so-called line of battleships, or ships of the line of the mid-19th century, whenever we weren't fighting a war, these ships, which were too expensive and manpower intensive to operate in peacetime, were put in what was then called ordinary. During Battleship New Jersey's lifetime, it was, being, it was called mothballing. Battleship New Jersey served through four wars, 22 years of active service. She spent approximately 34 years in mothballs waiting for the next call. Mothballs is when a steel ship is being preserved for possible future use. The outside doors are all sealed up and interior doors are open to allow more ventilation. Dehumidification equipment is set up throughout the ship with hoses run from compartment to compartment. Some spaces are too small to get these, so desiccant packs are dropped there instead. Important equipment is covered with oil, which will prevent rust. Other parts that aren't supposed to move are covered in paint, which will also protect against rusting. When Battleship New Jersey was decommissioned after World War II or the Korean War, when victory was achieved, Nobody thought twice about it, but when she was decommissioned in 1969 in the middle of fighting in the Vietnam War, there was a lot of protests. The ship was being prepared for a second deployment, and a brand new captain, Captain Robert Penniston, had just been appointed to command. The crew believed that they were helping by providing ground fire support for the troops ashore and many of them were upset that the ship was taken out of service. Contrast that with the general thought about military people during that time who, you know, nowadays we talk about how they didn't want to go serve in Vietnam. Here was a ship full of guys who wanted to go over and help. One of them, engineman Joe Casamano, felt so strongly about the good that he thought the ship could do, that he wrote on the back of the uh, switchboard here a, a statement about his feelings. It was found by the crew that recommissioned the ship in 1982 and was painted in other places through the ship. He wrote, The returning once more to sleep of this great ship is both unfair and unjust to her and country. She is freedom for those willing to fight for it. She has brought pride to their country and most important to the men she served on land and at sea. If she is called again to serve us, she'll be ready and willing to go more than ever. For who of us can say what price is paid for freedom or that this country is so great or powerful enough to put her to death. Joe Casamano came back to visit the ship in 2008, and that prior to that he was only known as, un, as an unknown sailor. Now we're happy to know who he was. His wasn't the only dissenting opinion. When Captain Penniston had to retire the ship, part of his decommissioning speech was recorded here. The hour cometh and now is to say farewell. But before doing so, my last order to you, Battleship New Jersey, is rest well, yet sleep lightly, and hear the call, if again sounded, to provide firepower for freedom. At the end of her career in Vietnam, she was the only active battleship in the world. Her decommissioning left none left. Everybody thought that the age of the battleship was over.
And then, in 1982, the ship was reactivated, and, and battleships would again rule the waves until 1992. The 1980s crew agreed with what Joe Casamano said about reactivating the ship, and they painted what they found he had written on the back of his station onto one of the ship's watertight doors. The museum moved it up to our exhibit space so you can see it. Be sure to tune in next Friday to see our next video, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. This month we were talking about mothballing the ship. Next month we'll be talking about the ship's service in the 1980s. Stop by on June 15th if you want to meet veterans of that deployment, as they will be holding a reunion on board.